Meanwhile, a state Supreme Court judge clears the way for the Yonkers Inspector General to audit the Teachers Welfare Fund. The city watchdog had to sue the Yonkers Federation of Teachers and the district to find out just how taxpayer money is actually being spent. News 12's Grace Noon is here with the latest on that ongoing fight. Grace. Brian, Inspector General Dan Shore calls this ruling a victory for open government. Shore wants to know how millions of dollars have been spent on teacher benefits and if there is any waste. This affirms the Inspector General's right to protect taxpayer funds and to monitor how those funds are being spent. Specifically, this ruling by a state Supreme Court judge gives Yonkers Inspector General Dan Shore the ability to audit the Yonkers Federation of Teachers Welfare Fund. That entity gets $4 million a year from the Board of Education for teacher benefits like dental care, prescription drugs, and legal services. The city earlier sued the Board of Education so the IG could take a look at their books, but then the YFT Welfare Fund ignored the subpoena. They have given us no information about how money is actually being spent in a specific way. The kind of information that is essential if you're going to do any meaningful audit of an organization. If he can find uh, a way of saving money, that, that's all good and fine. YFT President Pat Paleo, who also chairs the Welfare Fund, says she was concerned sharing health information about teachers could violate privacy laws. If we're now in a position where simply following the court ruling, then I think that, that protects the trustees from anything that might happen once we turn over the information. The Inspector General wants to look at specific information dating back to 2009. He wants to take a look at check registers. School Board President Paresh Patel says he supports the IG's review and, quote, the judgment by the court was extremely positive. Taxpayers have a right to know how their money is being used. Because of this, transparency is essential. The court ruling in favor of the Inspector General comes after the district laid off about 300 teachers. The hope is that if any extra money is found, that it will be used to hire some of them back and restore programs. Janine. All right, Grace, thank you.